the J Feather X17Z here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is Jayco's best selling J Feather model overall. Um, it is a old floor plan. It's been around for a while since well, I say old 2011, but that's old in the RV business. Sometimes these things phase out. But it's it hit this little sweet spot, guys. It's just small enough where it's still like comfortably SUV towable. It's 3,085 pounds the way we have it built here. But it's big enough to comfortably fit a family for a weekend, you know? Now this is the big brother to the J Feather 7 model 16XRB. So uh, if this is just a titch too big or too heavy for you, then just clip over to that little J Feather 7. We can't keep either in stock. They're both best sellers. The only time they uh, ever sit here for more than 30 days is when the snowflakes are flying, and then even then it's only about 45 days. Hyper popular and for good reason. One, it's a Jayco. It's got the best warranty in the business. Double the length of anybody else. Two, smart, smart appointments. The Jayco lightweight designer down there, he's only ever done lightweights. He's on like 18 or 19 years in the business. The guy's a pro. He's an absolute pro. Uh, I call him the idiot savant of RV design because when you talk to him, you're like, this guy's just some crazy Ohio simpleton or something. But then you start talking to him and man, he gets it. He gets it so good. I don't know how else to say it. Now we've put a couple upgrades on this, like the power tongue jack, for instance. Um, you know, some, some little nice convenience features. So the one that we have in stock might be a little different than the one that we uh, have uh, on the lot. So if you're ever curious how much one of these runs or anything, I put a link down here in the video for you. Just, uh, or in the video description that is. It says click for price and availability. That's no joke. Um, you know, we, we make this very simple and transparent for you. Um, you saw the tongue mounted spare right there. That helps for load equalizing. That helps balance the trailer when you're going down the road. Plus it's just easier to get to. I hope you never, never need it. Smart things like this. This is what I mean by smart design. Your, your bed end latches, the things that lock the bed end, they're right down here at chest level where you can get to them. Maybe neck level if you're really short, but the point is you can reach it. Some brands make you reach way up here at that clasp. I'm a tall guy, I can do it, but it's a stretch. I don't expect other, my wife wouldn't do it. It's too big for her, you know? Um, 18 gallon per hour water heater, it's a best in class feature. We've got black tank flush standard, outside uh, shower standard, aluminum wheels, I think that's an upgrade. Um, the uh, other neat thing on these is uh, um, the bed ends here. This has a five year uh, guarantee on it. The rest of the coach is uh, two year bumper to hitch, which again is double the industry standard. Um, as you uh, keep cruising around, you may tune into the fact that there are no like uh, struts under the bed to support it. It's all cable internally supported. So uh, like if you're tired of a, a, a pop-up and you're ready to move up, these little cables inside right here are doing all that lifting work you used to have to do. It's just, just way easier. The first time you pull up and you're set up and you're camping one of these in two and a half minutes, as opposed to if you're good, 20, 25 minutes in a pop-up, you're gonna be laughing you get more time camping and less hassle and work with one of these. Now, J Feather, compared to the J Feather 7 Little Brother, is a full eight wide body, full size. We've got the double uh, entry steps for easy come and go. Uh, and you're gonna see the, the commonalities in the whole uh, lightweight family at Jayco, like the outside TV hookup station, right next to your outside grilling station. So you have a perfect little tailgate party right under the awning, which by the way, does have LED lighting as you can see right there. I finally remembered to turn one on. I always forget those things. I guess I can't say always anymore. So um, all your main cabin lights are on one switch and obviously they matter. They make a big difference in here. It lights this thing right up like a Christmas tree. If you notice outside it was overcast. It was just Ugh, it's just it's just garbage weather today. I don't like it, but it's like it's not raining So you're still technically outside even though it feels like rain all day. You don't have that here um, The uh, what do we got here? This is called granola. That's the granola interior We got a darker leatherette with a nice bright punch in the face on that fabric accent on your lower back right there and your window treatments Very very popular especially with a lot of kids because it, it holds up really well The leatherette holds up better than fabric for kids sliding and grinding around on it and doesn't show wear and tear and dirt like a, a lighter fabric will um, The selling point of this one to me is that you have a straight shot right up to the front bed. There is no climbing over anyone or anything in this uh, camper. Super nice on a rainy day because you can have someone kind of up there probably playing on their phone. You got plugs there so you can keep them charged. 
you got lunch going you get you can have another person over here kind of stretched out relaxing a little bit you got another bed in the back you still have rainy day space in here you know uh full same size ac that you have on the big brother white hawk just here in this little 17 foot one cabin trailer you'll be breathing icicles in here if you want to but you need that because uh you're losing a little insulative quality on a hybrid but that's why they have the big ac in here so you're not gonna have trouble keeping up um the uh there is a little bit of storage under the dinette uh, they did need to use certain aspects of that for various things in the the design and build of the trailer um but uh there is storage below the sofa which is partially accessible from outside as well which is really cool that can jackknife down into a little sleeper by the way and man they put lights under cabinets everywhere so i mean there's not a dark spot in this trailer unless you want to you know count up behind inside a cabinet and then we're getting technical um let me flip us around here am fm cd dvd bluetooth player so you got all your streaming media options right there you got the perfect place for the tv up here that's your antenna you no longer have to crank your antennas up and down in your jacos and on top of that these wine guards get 50 percent better reception more channels more range more clarity hey isn't that the whole point of the antennas to actually get tv now you got it good job um the uh we are a little satellite ready by the way your fridge this is a five uh cubic foot refrigerator freezer um so you've got basically the same size fridge as the six cubic foot the only thing uh the six cubic has bigger is a little bit bigger freezer but you've still got good i mean you got room for some ice cream some popsicles uh you know Maybe mom and dad have a bottle of their favorite spirits they like to keep chilled on hand with them. You could fit those in there. Uh, the kitchen uh, has a little more cabinet space than you would realize because they, you know, you have storage all the way up to here. And you've got maximum storage anywhere else they could possibly put it. Whoa, squeaky shoe, Batman. Uh, outlets here for your appliances is a, is a nice touch as well. That's why they leave this middle chunk open. They did not go with the double sink in this one because you'd have no countertop space. Now, an easy thing, you just get a little like uh, butcher's block cutting board or something like that. Pop that right there, and you've got the perfect stove top cover. It works great. Uh, the rear bed's a little more private than the front one, which is kind of cool. Uh, but uh, mom and dad still seem to put the kids back here, I think just because they want to be away from the door a little bit. Uh, the bathroom, we do have a foot flush stool, so that is user-friendly and convenient. Uh, you see we do have good floor space here to actually get dressed when you get out of the shower. That's a big thing that I key into. And the light switches are down where the kids can get to them, even the power vent fan. So, uh, you know, there's you don't need to help the kids in here. The kids can do it themselves. It's just one of those little detail things that, again, I look at this and go, this guy is just, he's a, he's, like I said, he's this idiot savant of RV design. He's very disarming, but he's so very good at what he does. I love talking with him. He's a super fun guy. Um, you know, I had, had the pleasure of spending time with him more than once, and he just really gets it, you know? Uh, but he also, I think the reason he's so good at this is because he's fun. He gets fun. He understands you go out with your family. And you have a good time. So, he, you know, he's not just an engineer putting this together. He's like, man, I'm a guy with a family. How would I put my family in this camper? And you see those little touches in here, those those little things. So thank you, Jayco John, for putting together another good Jay feather here. And, uh, you know, if uh, folks at home, you need hitching pieces, parts, financing, anything else, give us a call. 800-256-5196. Hey, RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. And happy camping, everyone.